Mr. Brian. I suppose at the end of the day, getting to Munster finals, all Ireland semi finals are great, but players are counted by their cups and their medals, and you finally have a national title. How good is that? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's great for the group that um, uh, we actually uh, turned up and, and won the game. Okay, maybe he didn't play as well as we would have hoped to have played, but um, got the result, which was very important for us and very important for our group. And as our commentary team have just mentioned, without Tony Kelly, and that's a massive thing because it shows that you've other leaders. Yeah, look, um, uh, Tony is working as hard as he always does uh, to try and get back on the field, and. Um, no fair play to our group. There's, um, they've worked really hard all year. Well, they've worked really hard from any time I've been involved with them. They've been working really hard and uh, just a great bunch of guys, and I'm just so happy for them. How do you feel personally? Because a lot has been said about the fact that you hadn't won a title. As much progress as you've made as manager of the team, is this an important moment for you? Yeah, sure. Everybody wants to win. You know, everyone wants to win, and uh, you can only have one winner. That's the, the unfortunate thing, you know. Everyone would love to be winning all Ireland, winning Munster Championship, winning leagues uh, every year. But you know, it's you know, of the um, uh, of the important competitions for the year, it's probably the third most important competition. So, but look, we'll take it. It was a fantastic game. It was a belter in lots of different ways. It was a, a physical game in terms of say the young people that you brought onto the team this year. The the Connor Leans, even the Adam Hogan's who came up with man the match has been there a while, but growing in the team. How much did today bring those players on? Well, sure. Look, they're they're developing. You know, they're evolving. They're getting better um, all the time. You know, we've a really resilient bunch, and um, they work really hard, and they, they get results because they work really hard. Um, but look, the standard goes up a notch now, and um, we'll have to see can we respond to that. And um, but we we'll take the result, and we we'll take the victory, and. Um, it's great for our bunch, as I said. Yeah, so you got the young players through. You also got Shane O'Donnell back. You got David McInerney back tonight. Tony back, hopefully, in a few weeks, you'd imagine. Was it was it a pretty much perfect league? And so in that sense of getting new players through and getting the lads back? I'm not sure we won it, so we didn't lose a game. So, you know, I suppose perfect from that perspective. But, you know, lots of, lots of areas uh, to work on, lots of things that we wouldn't be happy with. Um, lots of improvements that, you know, you know, Limerick are sitting at home watching this and they're probably saying to themselves there's loads of areas that they can get at us and you know it's going to be a challenge for our lads now. you two weeks to get ready for the Limerick game. Any knocks and bits and pieces that you'd be worried about heading into that game? Ah, yeah, there's always knocks um, but it, we'll, we'll handle that, we'll, we'll get over that. As I say they're a resilient bunch and they're, um, uh, they'll take it on and um, we'll put that challenge in front of them now and see how we respond. Is there a chance Tony Kelly be back for that game? Sure. He's working away with the physios and he's working really hard. One thing that Tony does, sorry, he's, he's such a brilliant player and so skillful, and, but he is a worker, he's a real worker. Um, so um, he'll be trying to get back, yeah. Thanks, Brian, congratulations. Thanks,